In the previous course, we studied about coupling capacitors, right? And we said that the main purpose of a coupling capacitor is to block the DC current and pass the AC. But what exactly is a decoupling capacitor then? Is it the opposite of a coupling capacitor? Well, let's find out. While coupling capacitors are used to pass through the AC component while blocking the DC component, a decoupling capacitor removes the AC component, making for a more pure DC component. A decoupling capacitor, as shown here, is a capacitor which is used to decouple AC signals from a DC signal. Decoupling capacitors are useful in many types of circuits where noise needs to be cleaned up in a DC power source. In a perfect world, the power you get from a DC power source, such as a DC power supply, would be a perfect DC signal containing no noise on it. A perfect DC signal would look something like this. This is the type of signal a circuit designer would always desire. However, in the real world, few DC signals, especially from power supplies, come out this way. The DC signal from a power supplies often have noise and look like the signal shown here. So basically, the signal is usually imperfect. When coming from a power source, there are all types of interferences, which are AC signals that comes into play and superimpose on the DC signal and make the signal noisy. What we want is to decouple these noises, which are AC signals, from the DC signal, allowing for a much cleaner DC signal. This is especially important when the DC signal is used for circuits, such as logic circuits. This is because logic chips need very precise DC voltages in order to work properly. For example, if a logic chip operates on a supply voltage of 5 volts, normally voltages below 2.5 volts will read as a low signal, and voltages above 2.5 volts will read as a high signal. If there is noise on the signal, which are AC signals on the DC signal, uh, this can trigger an appropriate lows and highs on the logic circuits. As a result, for circuits where precision is involved or the signal needs to simply be cleaned, decoupling capacitors are widely used. Capacitors function very well as decoupling capacitors due to the nature of their reactants. Reactance is how a component reacts to various frequencies. Capacitors by nature block DC signals from passing through but allow AC signals to pass through them since they offer less resistance to AC signals. Capacitors offer less resistance as the frequency of the AC signal increases. And as a result, they are ideal for acting to decouple AC from DC signals. The AC component gets shunted to ground. So now that we got over the conceptual aspect of decoupling capacitors, let's see how to place one in a circuit so that decoupling is achieved. In order to place a capacitor in a circuit for decoupling, the capacitor is connected in parallel with the power supply. So this is a very simplified circuit just demonstrating decoupling capacitors. You may need additional capacitors such as smoothing capacitors depending on the circuit type but this is strictly demonstrating decoupling capacitors. So it's really simple, the DC power supply gives power to the circuit, right? The decoupling has pretty much infinite reactance to DC signals so it doesn't allow DC signals to get shunted to ground. However, AC signals have much less reactance, so they can pass through the decoupling capacitor and get shunted to ground. These capacitors provide a low impedance path for high frequency signals, which represents the noise in this case, on the power supply, and as a result cleaning up the DC signal. So this is how the coupling capacitor decouples AC signals from DC signals. Typically for decoupling capacitors, ceramic capacitors are the most predominant type used. 
The value of the capacitor is usually between 100 nanofarads and 10 nanofarads. However, usually 100 nanofarads capacitors are used most commonly. So, uh, the most used type of decoupling capacitor is a 100 nanofarad ceramic capacitor. Besides power supplies, decoupling capacitors also have other uses. One other important use of decoupling capacitors is for circuits in which there is high switching amongst components, such as logic chips for instance. As we discussed a little earlier, logic chips need very precise DC power supply as to not trigger false lows or highs. However, logic chips themselves can cause problem. If a logic chip is constantly switching logic states, for example high to low and low to high etc, it can cause transient voltage spikes in a circuit. In order to remove these transient voltage spikes, a decoupling capacitor can be placed in parallel very close next to the logic chip so that these transient voltages get shunted down to ground. Today, many chips do come with built-in decoupling capacitors in the IC, but not all do. So for those that don't, decoupling capacitors can be placed at the outputs of each of the logic gates. This prevents transient voltage spikes, which would cause unintended problems in the circuit.